Hey, excuse me. Could you follow my Twitch? You'd take Splatoon 2 rank system over Splatoon 1 any day? I can't agree. I, okay. Bear in mind, this is pretend- this is Pretendo rank system. This isn't like, Nintendo didn't intend for this to happen. Bear in mind. Because in- if it's- if it was actually S- S rank versus S pluses and all that, like an all S rank lovely and all S plus, then it's gonna be much more fair. Underscore duty. Thank you so much, Blush, I appreciate it. Like, it's much more fair, because it's like, you would lose like four points and you'd win like five. Which, he used to, he actually nerfed it. They actually, it used to be a little bit more uh, brutal than that, but still fairer than what it is right now. This is, like, just purely on the base of Pretendo, so I'm not going to give it crap for that, because it's just, I mean, that's just how it is. But there's no way I can agree with Splatoon 2 being, like, the best rank system, because, mate, getting zero points every single game, then to lose one game, that's not my fault, to lose 30 points... That's like four hours of progress I've lost, you know? That is disgusting. And there is no way that I can say that's better, and... 10 million percent... Splatoon 3's rank system is way better than that. You know? Splatoon 3's rank system makes sense, you know? As like a ranking system. Alright, at least it wasn't minus 11. We're good. <laughs> you mainly wish that Splatoon 3 separated out ranks like Splatoon 2 did. I'm le legit afraid to play... Clowns and Rainmaker, because you're not as good as- Are you talking about, like, like open, maybe? Because I guess in X-Battle- I mean, X-Battle is X-Battle, obviously, but, like... I think in open, like, you have the opportunity to face almost anyone, so it's like... You might face, like, a whole team full of S's, S pluses, or X rankers, or anything, like... You feel like, uh, actual Anarchy rank- Yeah, that's what I feel like, too. But I don't think that's, like, the- that's not really a big problem for me, like, it- Because the thing is, is that if you want to play a more competitive game, you play X-Battle. But if you want to just chill, you have series and open, you know, because, I mean, series, it's more towards, okay, what rank you are, okay, S+, plus, S, A, whatever. Um, but open is, like, with, with ever, is anyone. And I feel like that's something that we all wanted at the same time. Like, we wanted a more chill rank, uh, just be able to play rank, like, whether it be series or open, because, I mean, that's, we, don't, we have two options there, so. But we have X for that more competitive experience, you know, because that's what, that's kind of what, that's kind of what we wanted. Yeah, I mean, the, the better you get at the game, it's not going to be made easy, you know? Which is, like, it's just kind of the harsh reality of it. It's just that the better you get at the game, obviously, the people that you're going to be facing, it's good, they're going to, they're, they're going to get better. But that's the thing, like, you know, if you get better, you're going to be more... Like, if you play against better players, you're going to learn how to play within that style, you know? Which is only going to push you to get better. Even if you are quote-unquote casual, you know? But, I mean, and at the same, and the same time, it's it's not for everyone, obviously. Like, this is kind of, this kind of goes across with, like, the entirety of gaming, in a way. Some people are just going to be really good. Some people are just ass. Unfortunately to say, some people are. But it's just kind of the truth of it. It's it's sad to say that not everyone is going to be good at a team shooter, you know? But that's kind of just how- it's just- that's just it. That's everything in every game, so... We can't- I say- personally, I say I can't- We can't say that's Nintendo's fault, you know? Because it's just like, you could look at every other game, it's the same thing, and same people can- will complain and be like- and be like, Yo, why can't this be like this? Why can't I play against these specific types of people or anything like that? Like. It's like, it's a big toss, I and mean, it's kind of impossible to, like, say, alright, well, for a game to understand that, okay, this player is like this, and this is how they play, and this is, they're at this certain skill level, you know? They're at this certain skill level, and we're gonna make sure that they play against this certain skill level all the time, you know? You, that's it, like, it's a, it's an impossible task, you know? Like, some days you're gonna just play against people who are really good, some people are gonna play with people who aren't so good, some people are gonna just be on your level. It's just how the game kinda goes. It's just what it is. It's kinda how every game is. But for it to be every single game, I mean, I think it's- it probably hits a little bit harder because you play more games in Splatoon compared to other games, which I can understand that part because, you know, there are just many more games to be played instead of like a game like Valorant or, uh, Overwatch or anything like that. Because, like, in Valorant, maybe you play, like, two or three games, and those games are gonna stick with you. In Splatoon, you're gonna play, like, 30 or f 
50 games. Fortnite, you're going to play probably maybe up to 10 or maybe a few more, but it's... The games are much... How those games go, they're much longer than Splatoon. So it's like... It probably hits a lot harder and people are probably a little bit more passionate about it because there are just way more games that are played. If that makes sense. When I think the Switch 2 will be announced? Uh, within... 10 months. Within 10 months. Key, the, the key word is within. I think there's potential for next month. I think there's potential for September. It's just whenever, honestly. I don't know. That's just my opinion of ranked. Like, it's... It's it's hard to, to, to say matchmaking should be like this or anything like that. Like, I think... What could be better with matchmaking, especially within Splatoon, is that specific weapons actually matched up against each other. Because, like, I think, like, one thing that really I don't like in terms of Splatoon 3's matchmaking is, like, if you play with Charger, you're always going to face another Charger. And it's, like, especially in X-Battle, like, you always face another Charger. Well, And if you're a Squiffer, man, it's rough. Like, it's just, like, it doesn't take range into advantage. It's just that this guy is playing Charger... So we're gonna put against a, put you against an Elia or a Bamboo versus Elia. Like I hate that. And the thing is, I wish it wasn't always just specifically like a charger. Like if you like, because it's just a not super realistic situation. Like it's not super realistic because like if you're Elia, what's if you face like another longer range weapon or anything like that? Like like what if the situation is different? Or what's if I mean I don't know. I understand it because like. They're trying to make the game as fair as possible, so if one person, one player has, or one team has Charger, they, the other team should also get one. But, I don't know. At the same time, it's just like, man, I want to play Elia, but I don't always have to face another Elia. Because it's like, oh, I have to fight this Charger now, yeah? It's just like, man, I always, I always have to, I feel like I have to play differently now. And I can't just play like, oh, I'm free, because there's no Charger. Elia against no Elia is the best Elia. It is so nice. It's so nice. Because you just have freedom, man. Like, the only thing you have to worry about is, the, is like, lesses, like, you know, like, small fry, which are, like, the closer range weapons. It's, that's nice. And that can go either really good or really bad, depending on how you get pressured, so... I think this is a one-point game, by the way. Yep. Can you focus... Wait, dude, can you focus on playing and not yapping? I'm sorry, but who are you? You've come to the that SLB2 dude stream, all right? Just, rec just, just recognize we're gonna yeah, all right? <laughs> if you want me to be net silent, then you've come to the wrong place. How dare you talk in your stream? A stream without commentary? I mean, that's not even really a stream. That's just a VOD, a VOD. Oh, it's not even a video on the demand, actually. It's just a live video at that point. An LOD, live on demand. Well, not really. It's not really on demand. What is this, anyway? It's just live, I guess. 